Yo, what's good people? Welcome to the video. Now today, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to develop more discipline when it comes to your fitness journey. Now, throughout your fitness journey, I truly believe that you need to rely more on your discipline and habits rather than motivation. Because motivation comes and goes, but your discipline will always be there and that's what will get you in the gym, whether it's four or five times a week. And it will bring. that's what's gonna bring you to achieve your goals that you have in the long run. All right, so what is discipline or self-discipline? Discipline is the ability to control your actions and make yourself work even without someone else having to tell you to do so or any other external factors. So it's the ability to push yourself through any situation regardless of how you feel or whatever your temperament is at that particular moment. All right, so what are some of the ways to, put, to become more disciplined? Well, number one for me is to set clear goals. You wanna set clear and smart goals that are attainable, achievable and realistic and are also time bound, whether that's losing a certain amount of fat within a certain time, um, putting on a certain amount of muscle, or gaining a certain amount of strength within a specific exercise. So setting clear and achievable goals is the first step to being more disciplined. Number two is having a game plan, and more specifically, a workout plan or a training plan. So that is determining what days you're gonna train, what's your training split, whether it's push, pull legs, upper lower split of full body, workouts or a typical bro split whatever is suitable for you and also determining what exercises that you're going to be doing throughout your workouts how many sets of reps what's the volume what's the intensity so having these types of workouts planned before you even go to the gym is a brilliant way to get more disciplined and it helps to keep you it helps keep everything more on track and yourself accountable because now you have to follow a specific plan and schedule number three is to enjoy your workout make it fun you know do exercises that you enjoy that's suitable for you and something that you can also progress in as well so that will also link back to you know the, the previous point but making sure that your workouts are fun is what will keep you more focused and engaged over the long term you know so for example those people that want to lose weight for the summer holidays or for a specific holiday that they're going on to but after they come back from the holiday they put on the weight again and they start working out because a lot of them, the training wasn't enjoyable. You know, it was too hard for them, it was too difficult. They didn't like the process. So you have to really enjoy the process and enjoy your workouts. So that will keep it more fun and engaging and you will want to do it more over the long run because it benefits you and it keeps you emotionally and mentally in a good place. Now, the next point is to create a positive fitness environment. Now, what does that mean? That means being around more like-minded people. So that's whether it's training with a gym buddy, hiring a PT to keep you more accountable and to show you what to do um, and also to give you a plan as well or join in fitness classes because now you're around a whole bunch of people that have the same goals that you do. They're also like-minded and they're on the same path, maybe in the same the same um, specific area in terms of like being a beginner or being, you know what I mean? Going, starting from beginner and then going up to you know, a more intermediate and advanced levels, but you're around people are like-minded, that are positive, and that could you, could you can bounce off of each other, you know what I mean? Energy is also important, because it's synergy, you know what I mean? Being at a good gym, that's, you know, local local as well. You know, you don't have to, you knowing that you don't have to travel an hour to go to a certain gym. You can go to the gym that's 10 minutes down the road, you can walk there, drive there, whatever, but you know that you're not going out of your way, you know, just to go to the gym. For me, I go to a closed gym, because it's not, it doesn't take out of my personal day. It doesn't take too much time. So going to a gym as well, around as well as being around more positive people is definitely a big, big plus to becoming more disciplined because you're being around more people helps it helps them to keep you accountable and also you can keep them accountable as well. So, you know, it's a full circle. So yes, being around better people, better environment, a closer gym, a better gym, even even a cheaper gym as well, you know, making sure that it's affordable for you. So all the, all those things will help create more disciplined um, habits for you. Now, last but not least, and I think this is the most important point, is to create good habits. Now that is going to sleep at a certain time, waking up at a certain time, making sure you get enough sleep in every day. That's a habit. You know what I mean? You have to go go to sleep on schedule, wake up on schedule. You know. Perfect. Um, eating certain amounts of food on time, eating at a certain time of the day, certain schedule as well, you know, planning your meals, you know, learning how to cook, you know, not always ordering food and bullshit foods every single day, eating processed food and all that bullshit. You know, you want to be able to learn how to cook 
because now you have to eat more food depending on what your what your goals are eating healthier foods from different food groups so that is very important you know also being able to you know meditate you know meditation is very good for you it helps keep in a calm mind state as well so doing certain things like that is very important like meditation you know what i mean and then making sure you show up to the gym at least four times a week showing up every day or a certain days throughout the week obviously you need your rest days as well that's also important but making sure you show up at the gym every week is very important that's discipline that's good habits to have you know drinking less alcohol you know too much alcohol will destroy the body over a long period of time so cutting back on certain things that's not good for you the junk food as i said before alcohol getting good sleep all these things are very important you know making sure you show, show up at the gym you know uh all, all these things are very important, you know, and creating good habits is the best thing to, for, for anyone to do. To, to achieve any goal that you want to achieve in life is your habits. What you do on a daily basis is what's going to get you there. And also rewarding yourself. So, you know, allowing yourself to, you know, have a little cheat meal here and there, that's fine. You know what I mean? Life is about balance. So rewarding, rewarding yourself is important. You know, allowing yourself to go out with your friends one night on a Friday night or a Saturday night. That's okay, you know what I mean? Have a little bit of alcohol here and there is okay as well, you know? Even though I did say cut down on it, you can also have it as well from here, from time to time, you know? Having balance, life is about balance. So being able to reward yourself with the things that you like and enjoy is also important as well. So there you have it, that's some tips on how to develop more disciplined habits and actions to help you throughout your fitness journey and help you achieve your goals that you always want, the body that you want, you know, the strength that you want, the look that you want, you know what I mean? Having disciplined habits is very, very important. It's fundamental to everything that we do. So thanks for watching. Make sure you support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.